pertaining to the nation of Angola. Uh, I don't remember myself releasing a message, a prophetic message for Angola. But uh, just a short while ago, I was praying uh, within my spirit, even for the nation of Angola, because I saw her government shaken, the nation of Angola. So all those who are well-meaning intercessors, the Spirit of God is saying, remember Angola in your prayers, because a government is going to be shaken very soon. I saw disgruntlement in high and in low places. And uh, let us pray for the president of Angola and uh, his uh, uh, cabinet ministers, the army generals and other people who are part of the government or the systems of government in Angola. Because uh, there is a shaking which is coming to Angola, says the spirit of the almighty God. And um, in this shaking, it's only God who can save the government of Angola. We, the Spirit of God is saying we must pray for peace, even during these shakings that are coming upon Angola, says the Spirit of the Almighty God. I saw that in two, two major cities, I was seeing Luanda, and I'm not well versed with Angola, and another city which is a, a bit smaller than than, than Luanda, but it's also a big city there within Angola. I saw the Spirit of God begin to move so mightily because there are people who have been crying before God in Angola. We have been crying for a spiritual awakening. The same, some of those people are the intercessors who prayed for the end of the civil war. And the Spirit of God is saying, you are not going to be first out, you will not die as a generation without seeing a genuine move of my spirit. But I keep hearing in my human spirit that we should pray for political stability in Angola because I'm sensing an east wind which will shake the, the governmental system of Angola. The spirit of God is saying, as we pray for Angola, we must pray for a spirit of reconciliation, a spirit of brotherhood and reconciliation between uh, the former ruler and th those who are currently ruling, a spirit of reconciliation and rebuilding. I've never been to Angola. I don't have any business interest in Angola, but the message that I'm speaking is the message that God has released to, into my heart for, for Angola. There is a spiritual awakening. It will take place in three or four churches in Angola before it spreads all over, uh, I mean, all over Luanda. It will take place in three or four churches in Luanda, the capital city of Angola, and it will spread to other parts of the country there in Angola. And people will be comforted by the visitation of the Holy Spirit, which will attract other people to Angola and cause missionaries to be released from Angola not only to the Portuguese-speaking parts of the world, but also to other parts of the world that don't speak Portuguese. Because the Holy Spirit is saying, in Luanda there and in other cities in Angola, there are people who have been seeking the face of God, people who have been tearing in prayer and fasting. The Spirit of God is saying, the season for your visitation is now. Right now is the season for your visitation, says the Spirit of the Almighty God.